here, if we talk about a player who popped off yeah. for F4Q against G2, and that was Esperanza, are, are you are you expecting a similar performance? I I think they're going to need it. Esperanza, Bunny, they all popped off with their first bloods to kind of first deaths. They that first death started to rack up towards the end, but seeing F4Q be able to get those first bloods, opening shots, you heard them say, 5K was talking about how they view teams, and then, oh, we're already starting right here. I don't even have a chance They're already to describe going. how awesome they are. They'll show you. I mean, the gravity wall was there. You saw the satchel charge right off the bat, and the flash followed. They were just able to completely overwhelm Dapper right off the bat. Talk about kicking off this series with a bang. That's exactly what F4Q do. Now they've gotten on the site. They have the spike down as well. And you've got you've got some presence, but F4Q are just hunkered in sight so well. As Browns has already been cleaned up. Excellent counter. Great wall. Great yep. wall. And tap. Tens. Tens gets it. Tap. I don't know if they're going to be able to get through. If he is already going to go to good one, but Tens is just going to stick and they steal the round away. They get the defuse. And Tens gets four. What a spicy round. 3v3, full defuse up. Maybe it was 4v3, but still that instant wall. And Sentinels using F4Q's wall that prepped them into the site so nobody could get behind enemy lines there. And here's Sentinels once again retaking fast wall there. Come on. Yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head, Riv. That wall, the ability to counter and, and counter their initial aggression, exactly. deny so much space. You saw the guy was just stuck there with trying to like pick his way through that thing with a nice pick. It just takes forever. And pistol rounds are just bought Sentinels enough time. Now they're going to be upgraded on weapons. That 4Q not going to be nearly as fortunate, but we'll see how they feel things out on the attack. As they're already, I mean, they're already facing a slower. Moving up towards mid here. Tens wants to get in early. Get those Althorps up, start to control the game if he can get Empress. His sick takes a big shot. He will have to heal. There's Ghosts and Sheriffs. Possibility for F4Q to keep these longer shots and come out with a few head dicks. Ooh, yeah, over and over. Uh -huh. A little rinse, a little repeat, a great leer there, and Shazam was able to peek off of that to clean up Athena. So that now that's one weapon off the board for F4Q. Make that two as 5K is going to follow shortly thereafter. Covering all their bases right now, making sure they're kind of just stuck in the middle of the map so they themselves aren't split. They can all rotate together if F4Q does decide to peel off and just crash on one site. But right now, it is all mid, and that's Bunny taking down Shazam, a possible gun to be grabbed here and bolster the forces of F4Q, but it is only the one and lonely Zunder. Whoa, Sick. Sick was the last player mid, and he gets cleaned up. Nice shots out of Zumba to take care of that. Left. You're going to see Tents pushing... Back towards middle. Make sure that there's nobody working their way in through ropes. This is very While possible. Zoms is wrapping his way around as well. And you're right, Zumba has a weapon upgrade. But very, I mean, slightly possible, I suppose. I hesitate to say very possible, though. He's going to get that plant. They may allow it to happen and just crush him after that. He'll do it within his own smoke. Zom's looking away. He's right. He knows where it is now. Oh, he saw him. He saw him. He saw him. Yep, he cleaned up. I mean, for, for, for Zumba there, you go for it, right? And yeah. if nothing else, you get the money off of getting the plant. You're able yep. to carry that into the next round. That's great. And honestly, for Sentinels, the yeah, Tens is going to get the Diffuse to get the Empress online. But that was costly. That uh, that was not free. That it was did. not easy. Uh, they're pushing back, right? With how for with how sure and confident Bunny and the team rushed in to be, they said, well, we're going to snuff that out. Let's get to mid. Tens loves to just go right off the rip and start to get frags. They continue to, like you said, rinse and repeat in mid, and they did finally get him that Empress, which can turn on now for the first gun round, thwarting what F4Q might bring in. Look at this judge in the hands of Bunny. He's ready to go down the satchel trail. Vintage. Vintage Bunny. We'll see where he's set up. I don't know that he's got anything early going on quite yet. Oh, here he goes. And, and it's a little bit of what we saw, right? The flash, the goal, the gravity well. Just like what we saw in round one and sick. For In the first round, it was Dapper. This round, it was sick, who tastes a little bit of that Bunny Bunny action. Oh, I cannot wait for all of the rounds. Right, let's go to three on this. It's already started off very fiery. And I don't think F4Q is going to stop that momentum at all. Sentinels have lost one as well as F4Q here in our third round. This is the bonus for Sentinels as they continue to control this zip line area. They've had a lot of focus on this just for the first three rounds because losing that kind of just separates the map enough to not know which site to take. They don't want to be in that position. Yeah, Riv, I, I think the thing I want to keep an eye on here is you see... F4Q work their way into ropes. The spike isn't there yet, so they may just be pushing off. Whatever presence was there, Shazam's just able to stuff Esperanza. The spike hasn't gotten any closer. You see them going to rotate back towards B Heaven. 
And there is some presence from Sentinels there. You've got Tens, who's playing up top. You've also got Dapper. Close by, just on the other side of the smoke! Nice shots from 5K. Now Tens understands there's pressure coming his way. Empress comes online, he spots 5K, cleans him up. The dismiss, hello, right around the corner. Has to back up, gets away with his life. And look at how patient Sentinels is on this. They did hear someone over at A. It was Athena that made sound. That's why they've been waiting. But now they start to lean towards the backside so they can get an easy rotation around the map. Ten seconds left. Damn, this is well. going to be a tight one. Once again, they bring it down to the wire. Push in. Oh. Athena saves them. Tens goes down. Excellent cross from Athena there. You're right to cover Zumba to give him space to get the spike down. To leave things in a 2v2, you see Shazam creeping his way forward. The turret's going to tag him up, or at least contact. Let him know exactly where he's coming in from, while Zoms is going to be working his way around through Defender Spawn as well. May get a spot on to Zumba. The timing's there. He tags him up. All of the bullets are traded right back. Zumba just down to 57 health. Shazam cleans up Athena. Sentinel's looking to bust the economy wide open here in the opening One rounds of this remaining. map. But Zumba looking to wow. stuff it. Zumba, the snaps, the shots, the Red Bull clutch for at 4Q. And honestly, there were things coming in on the site that made that difficult, right? We saw Fina have to push up through the smoke, gave a little worse positioning on Shazam, but it didn't matter. They were able to keep the comms up, and Afina with the aim as well, picking up the first two of his uh, in the map, and they were big frags. We'll see it again. Oh, buddy. Yeah, I, I think... Look at that gravity well, too. Oh, There's perfect. no chance. Right. No, it's a perfect setup. What I want to keep an eye on, though, is we know that F4Q are going to do that, right? They're good. Bunny Bunny's going to dial something up. He's going to no! full send. They're going to get opening picks. No! But what do F4Q do with that, right? Like, yeah. how do they take that opening advantage and really blow the round open? Because so far, for Sentinels, they have been able to trade it out. We're hopping right into the fourth round. Bunny, feeling like the judge is going to be what has the verdict for most of these rounds, and he goes right for it again. Also, being able to just kind of put that money somewhere else as you keep mounting a bit of cash, only having to buy that. And his util has really only been blast back usage for now. They are setting up towards the A side. You can see the double Astro Stars ready for an entrance to slow them down. Shazam will get first look, and he will get first death. Blades from offline. There's a whole lot of F4Q headed their way. The gravity well is not going to deny Athena that action as the Cosmic Divide comes out as well, but F4Q just continue brute to march force. on. Absolute brute force here by F4Q. They know they have power in numbers. They throw themselves through the site. Cosmic Divide is going to th slow things down here for the retake as Esperanza wants to make sure they have every angle of this A site before Sentinels tries to get in. Yeah, and you, I mean, even look at Zumba, right? Like Zumba's so far back out, waiting to see where the flank is coming in from as Dapper drops tens. And you don't have a whole lot to save, and you are Reyna with the Sheriff. And well, it is tens that we're talking about here, but there's just there's just no room to get her in, Riv. There, I mean, they have a decent idea of where he is. Smoke's all over the place. He can't get yeah. within sniffing distance of this thing. So we're going to be tied up into a piece. He's going to run himself over to that spike, allow himself to go down and get some cash here. Unless he finds a weapon on the side. He does, okay. No, he does go down. Just finds it a different way. And we're going to see what happens here in this fifth round. Great movement, great control. We saw Zumba having a round before for himself. And he is the Astra of the team. Almost kind of considered the god Astra coming out of the region, right? And with his ex-Overwatch just kind of history, he's used to being able to just get in and out of abilities, know what quickly needs to be done if utility is required. And we've seen that already with Gravity Wells to assist Bunny getting into the site. The Cosmic divides immediately to set up the right angles. It's going to be tough if that's the kind of power that 4Q keeps bringing to the table. Hey, they're going fast again. There it was one more time. The flash, the blast pack, and the gravity well just on the other side of where Bunny Bunny is going to be. You mentioned the judge one more time. This time they're investing the Seekers as well. That's going to clear out all of heaven. Get back into Defender Spawn. Oh, he hears and them. they've got the lockdown as well. Bunny Bunny in a great spot. You've got Shazam. You see him holding down the op. Tight angle. Spike goes down. I don't think they have anything to clear out that lockdown. No, they're just going to have to get the space back up and then attempt to retake. Sentinels, obviously they're playing this round to allow a bit of F4Q space. Sentinels on that retake game, but the amount of space and how freely F4Q is taking it is really just shutting Sentinels down here. Something's going to have to adapt in the next few rounds as they figure out how do we stop Bunny? Because the initiation that Bunny and the rest of the team are putting together right now, you you can't be there. You can't just say, all right, let's put two or three there because it could actually go wrong. 
So that Dapper picking one up here to cause a little bit of econ damage at the end of the round. We're seeing this 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 early oomph yeah. from F4Q just being a bit too much for Sentinels early on. And I think it, what's what's fun, in my opinion, to watch from F4Q is that it's not just the opening moments, right? Take right. that round, for example. They took that opening space early on off of Bunny, but they also, once it got the spike down, they pushed into Defender Spawn. Yeah, they, they kept had, going. Yeah, they had Sentinels on the, on the western side of the map, right? Like, they pushed them so far yeah. back, they couldn't even get to the 50-yard line. All right, let's take stock of what is going on. It is just three to two, but obviously these last few rounds have looked very clean for F4Q, and that's where our descriptions are coming from. Sentinels right back on the operator play. Bunny right back on the satchel trail, and this time he's got Phantom to keep the plays going and hold hard angles. See if that operator comes into play. It's kind of stuck up here in heaven, but it's going to make the shot. It's going to count as Peranza goes down. There it is. A little bit of presence as they make their way into ropes. Pull right back out the spike. No further for Sentinels. Right, you, you've got a good bit of info. You just saw Dapper pop mm -hmm. into his camera, make sure there's nobody working in through B Garage. And then you've also got heavy presence towards A, right? As far as personnel goes, you've got the Astro Star set up to ensure if there is contact, they're able to grab you well and then trade off of that. The one area that's left a bit exposed, right, is, is mid. And there you go. You've got Shazam with the op up top in this cheeky corner. Flash pushes him off. And F4Q is doing all of this without the spike. Still reading the map. Their intention to say, how are you going to react, Sentinels? We're not even making a decision yet. That's going to be a bit of the util for Cypher down. They have to play that a little safer now from Sentinels' side. And F4Q, again, starts to take space in heaven. Now, this is a look we have seen from F4Q a, a couple of rounds now, right? Where they get in through mid, they, they make some noise over A, and Ooh. then they pull back and go towards B. Left. Great shots from Dapper there. That's actually a really big deal. Zumba just down to 10 health. Certainly push, denies some of that push. Shazam Zob's able to take care of Bunny, but not able to take care of Athena. 2v2. Both members of Sentinels are healthy. The spike finally making its way onto the side. Sick. Oh, the turret's going to get a spot away, but he lands the shots anyway. That's going to leave 5k. In a brutal spot, Zoms comes around, never saw him coming, cleans it up, so we're tied up a three-piece rip. Yeah, back and forth, F4Q has an idea of how to get through. We were looking for the Sentinels yeah. adapt, they go back to a bit of their retake game, and it does come down to just the aim on the angles. Everybody's utility basically out at the end of the round there, so it all comes down to the mouse movement. And here, this has been a spot where they have seen Bunny coming each time, and almost every time. Is Shazam still going to stand there, take the off shot, feel like he can hit it? So, already saying if we shut Bunny down, we can shut down quite a bit more. Right. Right. Well, and then even you saw Bunny with a slight adaptation there, right? Previously, he goes all the way into male. This time, he gets all the way just back into middle. But you feel that pressure. Once you hear that audio cue, you know that that's where that's been coming previously. Good chance it hits there again as we enter uh, a technical pause. We'll get you all back into the action as soon as possible. But I know we've talked about Bunny a lot. And mm -hmm. as you've seen the opening rounds, it's for good reason. But you've got to keep an, an especially keen eye on him this time around because Riv, he's got the showstopper. And this is actually where I can get back into what I was saying for round one before Bunny just went off like a madman is that we need to see him and, and Esperanza or even anybody else on the team as Zunba's coming up with a few have those opening frags have those opening kills looking at Sentinel's last match versus G2 over that match tens was 12 and 3 first kills to first deaths 12 and 6 for 6 so you're going to have these two guys as soon as they come online delivering that kind of fire firepower again and we did see that Sick kind of had a lackluster first match but not second mm -hmm. at all. So it is there. Sometimes it takes a bit to go, get going in that tank for Sentinels. But once they figure it out, it does seem like Shazam can start making those calls. I saw something uh, uh, online that's hilarious. Is that like Tense is just a Winter Soldier, and Shazam's like, <laughs> I'm gonna whisper in your ear, and then you go kill. Like they, they, they can they can lock it in. But it seems like F4Q has prevented Sentinels from doing that right off the bat, and they got to feel really good about that. They're they're yeah. they're, they're enjoying oh, yeah. the heck yeah. out of this. Well, it's an excellent start. And I think we, we expected a good matchup between these two squads. So great start here. Uh, very quick update for you all who are hanging out with us at home. Yeah. Sentinels players are having uh, some issues with their microphones. So we are going to pause the game, make sure we get that situated, figured right. out so we can get you back into the good stuff as soon as possible. We, we, we talk about good stuff again. It's been a lot <laughs> of play off of Bunny, but Sentinels, I, I mean, really, in, in many instances, they've responded well. So they, at least for the time being, have managed to, in, in maybe not perfectly, 
pretty yeah. respectable amount of the time. They've managed to weather that storm. Absolutely. And this, honestly, looking at the stats, should be a hell of a first half. Attack win rate on split for F4Q, 70%. Yep. Defense win rate on split for Sentinels, 70%. Yep. Just absolutely smashing heads together in that back and forth. So whatever happens this first half, it, it might just go 6-6 six, six due to that strength both teams have coming from their potentially strong side. Now, Riv, I, I do want to get your thoughts on this. It's seldom that we see a map on split, or a match on split, excuse me, where we don't see a Viper. Oftentimes, true. See two. This time, we don't even get one. Yeah. Well, what are your thoughts on that? That feels more comfortable in being able to move where your control is, because mm -hmm. you're not set in one place once you throw out the gas, or once I'm sorry, once you throw out stars, you are with the gas wall. So there's those decisions to be made. Vipers usually have their 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 throws. The the areas they'll go for one ways and small things if they're going to be covering mid alone and continuously pressure gas in mid to be able to rotate back and forth. So if it's not set up, it seems like they do want the mobility of what Astra is going to bring to the table. As we said about Zunba anyways, the god of Astra in his region. Mm -hmm. And we know that Sentinels have been using this pick for quite some time as well, as Zoms is very proficient on it. And coming to round seven now, looks like it's going to be a little love for A. Bunny's getting ready with the alt. There we go. Whee! Last pack, the showstopper. We called it a different angle on the flash. He's not able to pull him out of the sky. Now Bunny's the one who's caught up. Zoms punishes him. Two huge kills coming out of Zoms at the entry onto the site. The thing about F4Q is they have one speed, and that's go. And so far, they've been able to fight back, take the site back, as it's a 3v2 in favor of F4Q. Guardian there for Tens. He's trying to get shots from the back. It's picked up by Athena. And now the 2v1. Spike hasn't been planted yet. Shazam, fully healthy, right? Has armor, has health. The spike goes spike down. Planted. But is he in a tough spot here? No op. Doesn't. I don't know that he's seen it. No, he hasn't seen it, but he's going to be able to isolate the fights. But so was 5k, and he wins that duel. F4Q take the lead. I don't know if I've ever seen a team consistently play this fast to say we yeah. will always take the pressure opening shot, right? You're flying around the corner. Your team's, Bunny's flying around the corner, I should say. Your team's coming out through smokes and you're all trying to get the first peak. You are testing your opponent to the max. Mm -hmm. And honestly, Sentinels got out of the way. They positioned differently in that one. But again, it seems like F4Q is just smothering these spike sites and not allowing any of the retaliation that we see from the Sentinels retake usually. Pistols here for Sentinels. Instantly clearing close. Yeah, and not nearly as, there it is, slightly delayed. This time Bunny gets caught. It's just closing the door. In the gravity well. The slow orb slows him down as well. You hear the Seekers have come out. Zombs! That's actually Bunny's classic that wins that. Crazy Ooh. shot. Ten. So ten's good for two. He's going to get okay. up. Shazam's doing a bit of his own. As through all of the opening chaos, Sentinels somehow walk away with the numbers advantage. They, I mean, Sick also has his res. There it is, gonna bring tens online. Numbers even more heavily in favor of Sentinels here, but what they don't have is the gun advantage, right? You're still looking at two rifles going into three pistols. Now make that one as Estranza playing tight. He gets cleaned up. Three cleans up, excuse me, gets a second. Drops it down to 1v1, but Sick, baby, Sick! He is going to get the defuse as well. We're tied up at four. There it is. The back and the fourth round for round. You love to see it. And those were some damn good shots from the Sheriffs. Again, F4Q going in hard. Sick threw up the wall. Smokes went up from Zoms. They tried to close the door immediately. So at least it stops one or two members of F4Q coming through. And it seems like those did give the angles to the Sheriffs required by Sentinels here. Sick with the second one Let's of the go. round for himself. Four, eight, four. Let's get and it. a quick Let's kiss. Hey, hey. That was for you. <laughs> close though, but but again, man, like knife, right? Knife's Edge, super close round at the end there. Easily could have gone either way. And I think because of that, as those rounds play out, you'll feel some of that in economy. F4Q opting to take a timeout here. Yep. Shazam on the op in the back. You probably expect to see a smoke in his face as soon as anybody comes around the corner, but we will see what actually plays out on that. And F4Q wanting to take this time to discuss is maybe aggression working? You know, we have no idea what they're saying, but they've kind of gone with a one-track mind at the moment. Mm -hmm. And honestly, we love to see it. I'm sure the fans <laughs> love to see it, but they, they, they definitely want to be able to adapt and figure out here if they can play it slow, maybe. If, if 
getting to that middle of the map again and allowing Sentinels to get off their first angles could be beneficial. Really, we've just seen Bunny in go mode. And I, I think, you know, we mentioned it earlier. They just seem to have one speed, right? And to your point, that speed is go. It is. Right? They like to dial things up aggressively. They like to, they like to hit fast and hard shortly right after the round starts. And I think the, the one benefit for that is, as you think about conditioning over an entire half, you hit hard, you hit fast, you hit hard, you hit fast. Yeah. So all of a sudden, you find yourself in a spot where you're expecting some of that, right? Then you throw the brakes on it, skrr, there. right? Right on the spot. <laughs> and that's difficult to deal with. Yeah. It's also really hard to ever create a flank on a team that plays like this. Like, right. you'll yep. be big flank in the end, which is like A ramp if you're going into A, but that long it. flank is almost never in play because everybody's positioned in sight. And here we go again. Oh my word. Bunny comes up with a judge onto Zombs. And they've got the Cosmic Divide as well, so Operator from Shazam is just not able to provide any value, at least in the opening moments of that round. Keep an eye on Zumba. You Zumba's on run. a flank. They've got the lockdown that has been used. Buy some space. Oh, Zumba. Zumba's coming up from behind him, and I don't think they know he's there. How much information is he, how much information is he gonna be able to get? They continue to back away. So he's not gonna get any of those kills early on, but now he's taking oh boy. that space away that they had, <gasps> but he gets nothing. Bunny is able to clean up Dapper, however. They, they're pinched in, in in heaven, right? Like they have an excellent crossfire set up on top ramps. Tenge dropping his way down. Stays alive somehow. 36 health. Shazam lands a shot as well. The flash is there. It's beautiful. As Sentinels seem to be flipping this round, it's going to fall onto 5k, but Shazam's op stops it. Is he going to be able to get the defuse? I don't know that he is. A second late on that, even on the fast retake. Five to four as F4Q comes up with another round, but a very, very expensive round at that, even in their favor. Everyone across the board fragging. As you can see, the KDAs, the participation is there. Team wide as we are on the first map of this series, if you can believe it. And again, Bunny just delivering presence everywhere with the blast packs and the judge. And you just can't stop this guy. Yeah, I mean, what do you do? Right, like, how, oh, you say you can't stop the guy. What do you do? I, I really don't know. Because as soon as he comes around the corner, he's still hopping around. He's still <laughs> jumping. Even here with the Phantom, quickly taking out Cypher Utility. And just pings Dapper. As, as, the, as the classic bullets come through, he immediately gets him. Shazam answers. Shazam is one of two remaining uh, members on the side of Sentinels that have upgraded weapon. Tens and Zoms both have share. And of you have gotten onto the site. Tens and Shazam playing a little high-low. But High gets taken out. Tens, trading it out though. He's gonna heal back up. Spike goes down, upgrading a weapon. And that op has been handed over to Zoms. F4Q, down in numbers here, but they do have position. Cosmic Divide is gonna come out, F4Q swings out. That's, I, that's probably the best retake we've seen from them up until this point. And it was smartly played too. As soon as we saw uh, Tens actually grab a weapon, Sick changed his mind, ran all the way back around so they'd still have that height if anybody were ever try to get the flank in as well. It really smartly played, like you said, one of the best ones we've seen here on this one. And that's their bread and butter, Sentinels being able to just read what's happening on the site take and dismantle you as you try to set up that defensive garrison. Five to five. We thought it would be a 6-6, and it's coming true. F4Q to look towards B on this one. It looks like mid here for Bunny. And he's just going to have the Sheriff. No blast packs this round. So very telling. Going to be a little slower. We'll see how F4Q plays this. Well, Riv, you be, you be careful now with what you say. You presume <laughs> he's not going to do it, but again, Bunny's just... That's just kind of the way the guy's built, right? He does have that showstopper, but you're right. For now, F4Q slowly working their way Ooh. up across the middle of the map. You've got Shazam once again in a cheeky spot with the op, and he dashes away. He's able to get away. They drop the cloud burst, give him a little bit more room to work with. His tens is playing a tight angle. Going back out for a peek. And honestly, F4Q played it very similar to their previous rounds as well. Zunba, more of the bunny this round, jumped through his own smoke with that shorty. They're still trying to get these frags up and close. Very personal in this situation yeah. here. It's Tens knows. Yep. Save round, I'm not going to be close to a shotgun. Nope, no shot. Who knows what's inside that smoke? We know that it's actually Zumba, but Tens wisely taking a step back, not willing to put that up to chance. So you see F4Q here have dropped an alarm bot into the entrance towards ropes, right? So if they do go A, that flank is going to be given away. You've also got Afina who's playing close by. Make sure it doesn't get canceled out. But they are going to lead over towards B6, able to land one shot. Shazam with the op. 
is there, but the gravity wall's great. The gravity wall's wonderful. Shazam's able to get one. Tens gets one as well. It's just the shorty that you mentioned remaining in the round here for F4Q. Zumba still trying to play this tight angle, but hate to break it to you, buddy. Sentinels know exactly where you are. Oh! Goes for the Oni, gets Onied. He's down. Prime Gaming Flawless coming out there from Sentinels. They are the still house. for sure, or confident about themselves, I should say, on the Ecos. They move smart, they played it. And you know what? They knew that the still around F4Q could really surprise on. They backed up a little bit. There's respect being given here by both teams, and we're having a, a hell of a match right now for just our first map. Great coverage on everything they need. <laughs> it's just dead to rights. Kind of looked like he gave up at that point. And sometimes you, you're hoping that first shot hits and they miss. Not the case this time. He's going. He's going to go fast again. It's the last round of the half. No reason show not to keep the for show Yep. So he's got it in his pocket. But this is what I was talking about. Rave, you hit fast so quickly every single round, then you throw the brakes on it. And then, like, Sentinels, what do you do with this? Here we go, it's gonna be a bit more delayed, but the the play is gonna be the same! The showstopper's in his face! Dapper gets cleaned up. Sick up top, he's gonna drop down as well as F4Q have gotten onto the site. They're huddled up, the flash was there, but the swing was just a tad early. As Bunny gets punched for it, the res is gonna come out to bring him back online. Sentinels have been pushed off the site. They have to retake this as the spike goes down. So interesting, this is the second time Sick has placed this wall, but it creates a funnel on the right side. It was further forward before, now it's a little further back as they give themselves the angles they want to work with inside of Sentence. Shazam has the Bladestorm, Sick has the res as well. There goes that Bladestorm. Esperanza playing tight at 3v3, the res comes out. Zumba, Zumba, the swing! Oh, the Leer was there, the Leer was great! Just, just barely keeping people alive. Tens drops, but so does the Fiend of Rave. You called it. You called for a 6-6, six, six, and oh, baby, that's exactly what we got. Stats don't lie on this one. A 70% attack win rate for F4Q, a 70% defense win rate for Sentinels, and they just clash in our first half. Such a good half. Such a good half. Folks, we're going to throw it over to Bala. There's so much Ooh. to talk about here. I'm sorry, I said 6-6. Six, six. It's actually 7-5. Right. I, right. I got fired up. We're going to throw it over to Bala to break down what he saw in the first half. Bala, take it away. Thank you so much, guys. This is an electric match to start off. Korea looks so strong today in both of their outings, of course. We will try to break down one of these rounds. The important part is like Doug, like Riv have been mentioning over and over and over. This is speed that Bunny has. So let's set it up really quickly. Bunny's over here in sewers. This is round number three. We've got 5K over here and Zumba paired up with Bunny as well. Look at the stars that Zumba has put down. He's got one. That's going to be a smoke on ropes. Two, that's a, another thing here in mail that he can use. And then three, which one is going to be used? That's the important part. Makes it very difficult to guess what's going to happen here for Sick up top mid. So let's go ahead and roll the clip and see exactly what goes out. There's a flash here from 5K all the way up in the ropes. And you saw a bunny leap across the site. Here's the stars, the placements. Everything is important. Which ones does he pop? as Sick gets caught in them too. First off, the smoke, the timing as they come up. The flash you saw go across the screen. We're gonna look one more time from 5K's POV to see where it goes as well. And after that, we'll take a look at the reactions. So, Bunny with the double satchels, the speed is important here. He pops another smoke there too. Let's see, pause it just as you see. There's the gravity well, look at Sick. He has nothing to do, he is stuck. He is just completely lost. Tens is over here trying to help out, and that's the good adjustment that Sentinels has been making over time. So go ahead and roll it as he almost takes out Tens as well. But like I said, the adjustment is to play back. So rest of the round, what happens? Pause it again. We'll see that we have Afina all the way over towards A, trying to hold off any push that goes on there. Zumba back over towards B link. 5K still alive, paired up with Esperanza in mid. For Sentinels, this is the great part about them. Because of Dapper's utility in the back of sight, because he's got this cage, this trip wire, they don't have to worry too hard about what's gonna come down into B because they saw so much presence in mid. So, they re-clear tower. They push back up in close to mail so that they can get info. Is there anybody hiding behind the cage that Dapper's put down? Or, can't, do we have to do something else? Shazam at the same time is also trying to clear through vents. Let's go ahead and roll it from here. Zom's, of course, the lone anchor holding down the A site. So from here, F4Q decides to push up and through heaven. So here's a nice kill from 5K, a flash through posit right there. Yeah, you saw where that flash popped? Right here. 
right there, just on the outside of that smoke, and just the difference will be made between tens getting this kill or 5k actually chasing him down. That slight pixel is so important in pro play, and that's the reason tens is able to clean it up, but the round's not over, so go ahead and continue rolling it as we close this out. Tens will clean it up, almost goes down to Zumba, who's very close, but Zumba plays it smart. All right, he backs away, he goes down, takes a little bit of extra space. Okay, it's clear in spawn. Pause it right there to talk about the information that he got. Inside of spawn, nothing there. So that means later on he can push it. Where did tens go? We don't know. Let's go ahead a little bit more. There's just a few moments left in the round as the spike gets planted and whatnot. So we can actually probably take it a little fast as he puts down a smoke. That's the key to plant the spike. The alarm bot, the turret comes up. Tens tries to push through, but Afina is holding him strong. And this is the key moment right here that wins the round for Zumba. He pushes into spawn and gets a little bit more information. He knows that based off of what we just heard from the turret up in the top, just what we heard there, he can push up a little bit because there's one heaven. So he spots. That's Zom's coming over from A. He has so much time with Afina to fight into heaven. That's Shazam. He falls, but now Shazam is committed down in underneath heaven. And he'll isolate the fight. Zom's a little too fast. And that's going to be the round. Very clean from F4Q all the way through, but also clean from Sentinels. And that's how they get 7-5 in that half. Doug, Riv, it's back to you guys. Thank you so much, Bali. Ooh. Yeah, there is a lot that we can talk about with how F4Q like to play things out. But as you mentioned, or as Bala mentioned, Riv, the adaptations that Sentinels have made got them to this point, right? Because early on, they're yeah. like, where, where do we defend? Like, look, where is that punch going to come in from? Now we see Sentinels on the attack app. We'll see what they can dial up. I'm expecting uh, Bunny to still go forward here. Is he in mid yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing in the backside, actually. They're playing behind quite a bit of utility. Zumba's going to work through a star himself with a gravity well prep behind. And it looks like they will leave Athena to his own device. Uh, devices there on A to hold it down. Slow to start, much different here in our second half. Very different indeed. So you've got a couple of Astro Stars that are actually just being countered, as I say that, out of the hands of Zimba. Again, you talk about a Sage Wall in a pistol. It just takes forever to get through that thing. They knife through it, preserve ammo, and it doesn't hit very hard anyway. Um, as now they begin to work towards the middle of the map, you've got a brutal crossfire setup, and uh, it almost looks like for Sentinels, they're thinking about it. You see Sick? He's going to creep his way forward, but he's got to check the 50. I don't know that he's going to check the 50. So no, sad. he just waltzes right in, falls into their trap. Zumba cleans up sick. Looks like they're going to be working towards that A side. Nobody's on A. They're all going to be coming out of heaven, so it might be a little attack on the back. No, they make noise immediately in heaven. See what they can pull out of either one of this, the entries into that heaven area. And it looks like they are just going to go on full for A. They have to act now because it's going to be a big flank from f 4 Oh, the flash. The flash is great. But Shazam's able to clean up at 4Q. Afina's still trying to hold down the site backside. So far, he's gotten away with it. Shazam catches him on the side, but the spike goes down. Now, Shazam's the one who's anchoring backside. You've also got Zoms who's playing close by, but they haven't gotten the spike down. They've only 12 seconds left. It shouldn't be a problem. Oh, they left. might know where Zoms is. Yeah, they know where Zoms is. He's going to get caught. Remain. Shazam's alone in a 1v4. He's or 1v3, excuse me. He's got 42 health to work with. He's, again, trying to hold down backside. He's going to drop at 4Q in the pistol. Great round for them. It keeps it a lot tighter as well within the rounds. It won't matter as much if Sentinels were to get a few. They can keep that eco close. So let's see how this one plays out for F4Q. Do they feel like they can kind of tack on a little bit of power here towards Sentinels and push them back even more? Make Sentinels feel like the map is not theirs, even on that attack side. We'll see how this round goes. Athena up there on top, fragging out quite well for the team throughout this series. And we were wondering if it would be Bunny or, you know, uh, who is that? Zunba up on top of Esperanza. So having more fraggers for F4Q means the team is vibing real well. And we can definitely see it on their faces. Vibes indeed immaculate, or so the kids say. Wall goes up across mid, much like we saw in the previous round. By some time. Pistols across the board for Sentinels here. You've got a couple of sheriffs in tow for Shazam and Tens. Oh, and some info gathered from Shazam as well. Ouch. Spike drop for now. Zomps being a little rat up on the wall to see if anybody peeks. Full utility here by Athena has been used on A. Pick up turret, pick up bot, but Molly's are down. Yeah, Tens. Tens was slowly creeping his way up into B from Garage, and he had gotten some space. But then Zumba was there to stuff that push, extinguish that threat. 
So 10 drops, no arena antics this time around. His numbers heavily in favor of F4Q here. Map in favor of F4Q. Sentinels really haven't been able to get much as far as real yeah. estate goes in this round. They're trying to figure if someone's on the right. Pull the frag out for me. I'll take some shots. They're realizing they don't think anybody's in that mail room right now. <laughs> it gets blasted back a bit. 5K says, oh, there's some for me as he peeks out. Oh. Shazam, Shazam's able to get two. And number's still in favor of F4Q, but Shazam, he's down to 55 health. My goodness, I thought he was going to repel right into the crosshair. But 5K is able to clean him up. That's going to leave Sick alone here. He was able to upgrade, so he's got a Specter in hand. Maybe, maybe he can make something happen here. But there are two members of F4Q hot on Ooh. his trail. The timing's wonderful. But is he going to No. No, yeah, he's not going to have enough time to get the spike down. Maybe get a kill? Maybe. No, not even that. <laughs> Zimba is able to win that out. So we're tied up at seven apiece. Pistol goes in favor of F4Q. The subsequent round does as well. See how they come out of this play. Setting up a little bit towards B to start off on what will be their bonus. They haven't dropped the spike just yet, but that is kind of the play in the beginning. They do actually drop it there and be linked to start as we watch these replays. Another slow-ish round here for F4Q, but I feel like they're a team that's ready to activate off of that first kill. Very much so. More than, more than not. You have a lot of teams that'll get a frag, say, hey, they're rotating, let them separate, cover the positions we just killed. F4Q is all about moving forward and advancing on that area yeah. of the first frag. Oh, sick nose. Zimba. Oh no, I thought he knew the ping was there! What? What? Now Zimba not able to get the second as 10's Vandal wins that out. He's going to be able to dismiss away, preserve his life. Oh, whatever's left of it anyway. He only had 21 health. But he does get away with it. Shazam has taken so much space across the middle of the map. I have the spike. He's going to be able to give the team quite a bit of info. You can see them moving on his word right now too. Yeah. Dapper's up tight as well. The thing is, there's just so much utility from Fina, right? Like, you could turret, Nano Swarm's alarm bots. Look at that. It's just littered all over the place, and that's going to trigger everything. The alarm bot pops off. Both Nano Swarm's instantly triggered, and that buys time, because from that comes the Seekers, comes the rotations from F4Q. The delay from Killjoy's there, but Killjoy's not there anymore. Shazam's able to clean that up, so they get onto the site. They're able to get through the initial delay, but now reinforcements have arrived. Zom's looking to stuff it. Bunny's friends, he is got good for one, but that's that's all it's good for is Zoms gets the last kill and the spike plan for Sentinels. Good bit of damage done by F4Q there on that by round there. Bonus going through, but it does look good. Yes, the arrivals of both teams has happened, and we are watching <laughs> currently Sentinels versus F4Q. If you're just joining us, first half was completely on fire from Bunny and the rest of F4Q. It was a very even first half, but a great one to watch if you're going to go back and hit the VODs. Been a little bit of a sorting back and forth for the first few rounds. Bonus round now picked up by Sentinels as we're 8-7. Guns in the hands of both. Shazam going for the Blade Storm. That's up top. Nobody peeking. No one's home. And it, it, again, it seems like for F4Q, they're comfortable giving up some mid presence the last couple of rounds, right? Like previously, it was a Sage Wall up to delay, to deny. These last few rounds, they've given some of that up. You saw Shazam was able to get deep into ropes the previous round as Dapper worked his way up ramp. This time again, Shazam gets in while two members of Sentinels are there with him. Sentinels have always loved the walk up mid. Usually it's with Shazam's op, right? He's just creeping up, looking for that left peak shot, and he hits somebody here up in heaven. This time it's just going to be the Blade Storm, and he will always take this space. The comfortability of these angles he has, he'll always be the foreman or the forefront here on this engage. A little peek, and there's the first one on the bunny with the reset. And it was right as the star dropped, right? Just enough eye candy for him to swing exactly. off of and land the shots. Ten goes up as well. Shazam's able to clear out the rest of heaven with that blade storm. And now he's dashing in. He's going in forward, but no. Zumba rips him out of the sky. As Zumba was looking for a little more, but it's Sick who's able to win that out. They get into the back of the site. They should be able to get the spike down and leave Afina in a 1v3. Afina pulls back all util, waiting for the timers to come up. Let me get a quick peek on this. He is dealing with that Cypher Cam from Dapper, though, on his way in. So it, I love, because of where the spike is set up, right? Like, they can play a high-low, or they can play both back site, and then you've got Zoms, who's still playing in Garage. He's got the sight line for it. So this is actually, this is a pretty brutal, not only is it difficult because it's a 1v3, but because of where Sentinels are set up, there's really no easy way 
for Athena to even get onto the spike, right? There's so much you're going to have to work through because of how they're set up, and then you still have to get the defuse. So you see for him, he's just going to save that weapon, carry it into the next round. Excellent response from Sentinels. They're going to take a two-round lead. Right? Hey, Dove, I love, uh, Doug, I love you pointed out. As they cleared mid, we saw Shazam look a little bit towards ropes, come back out, go towards mailroom. Zoms throws down the star, as you pointed out. Just giving something else for Bunny to look at, something to deter him. And it was a blade storm to his face right after that. Here it is again. Just quickly a glimmer, and the hope was also there. Penn's landing a couple of clean shots with a flash in his face, Shazam as well. And they were able to, again, methodically like take heaven. Right. Once mm -hmm. they had heaven control, you saw Shazam went full send. We're go. Let's go, baby. We're yeah. going. Uh, and dash onto the site. You see a timeout is coming out from F4Q. So while you mentioned in the previous half that that was both teams' respective strong sides, right? Yeah. Statistically, that was where they were best. Now we've turned the tables a bit, it, and it seems like Sentinels have the upper hand. But you see a paradigm shift in both plays, right? Bunny can't do that anymore. It was yeah. go mode, like we said. Pasco collect the, the three hundred dollars for planting, is and every everything. Else, yeah. And uh, looking at what else this team could get, it, it's 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 tough to say it's Sentinels or F4Q. Yeah, Sentinels in the lead right now, but F4Q could pull out the stops and another one of those rounds from defense. It would be scary to think that they're confident enough to blast pack out and start taking control. Maybe it happens at B Main or Garage. They've had a little bit of audacity to get out there. Mm -hmm. From the side of F4Q, we've seen Zunba do that to Sick a few times now with their crossfires. Not too much play towards A. They're loving Athena sitting back in A. So Sentinels continue to work this mid area and we'll see if they do it once again. It looks like that's where they're prioritizing the members. You've got oh me no, over towards A. You got me thinking about how much money you get when you cross go in Monopoly. Two. 200? Is yeah. it 200? Yeah. We'll see if F4Q, I don't presume it's going to be this round, but we'll see if F4Q do dial up some of the aggression that we saw in the first half off of Bunny again. I mean, he's got one blast pack, but that's all he's got. Meanwhile, for Sentinels. One for one. Yep, one for one trade. I, that's excellent here if you're F4Q. That's 10's Empress as well, which have come up there. A little pain for Afina, but still good with a Phantom in hand now after that trade. Taking that back, recovering it. See Zom's pulling back the stars, and he's about to see a whole lot of problem in mid, but he's gonna clean it up. Does he have another one? Is Afina, or sorry, Bunny's still there. One enemy Bunny's remaining. Bunny's such a mad lad. He, he just saw saw him. He got tagged up. A, 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 I mean, enough to make him think twice about it, and he gets the kill. Ooh, the guy's I nuts. What can he do? It's gonna be tough. I'm sure they set up quite a bit. 3v1 makes it much more difficult. And they also have the Cypher Traps to alert them of where he's coming from right away. God, don't cut yourself. Good lord. That's dangerous. It is dangerous. Yeah. Sentinels are going to grab another one. So now, looking at well, where F4Q could go with the Econ here, I wonder if they decide to light Util and still go for a bit of the defense with guns on hard angles. Or do they, they just wait out the round? Because as we say on Split, once you fall down in economy, think about how hard it is to retake the sites if you don't have utility. And a lot of times you could be yep. buying just armor, your weapon, and your signature skill is there. So it becomes difficult. You see Bunny falling for that. Gun here. Gun here. <laughs> and let's see where they are actually in the money. is 10 to 7 as we come into round 18. Well, where would they decide to go with this? And will it be full utility for F4Q? Something they really use yeah. to continuously push themselves through the site. So you're seeing, uh, uh, like, single molly, the no heal there, and certain things they're deciding. So uh, Guiding Light actually just got traded over. Different purchases going in here for 5K to make sure they have all the utility they do want. How are they set up here for Sentinels? It's a we just dropped them a Judge, no? Pretty heavy lean towards A. You're right, you got the Judge. Bunny's ready. In the hands of Bunny, but there's, I mean, there's just no presence mid, right? So even if he does Tokyo drift around the corner, he's not going to spot a single soul. Stars in heaven again and in the ropes area coming from Zoms. This time they're full A. One of the first times they've sent people up ramp. Usually the turret is watching ramp. Now it's watching a different angle, so they know Sens is committed a bit more to how far up they are. The alarm bot's going to be there from F4Q as well to trigger off that info, and you look at 5K. 5K's rotated over, understanding turret's gone, pressure's there, he's gonna use the Trailblazer, and did Whoa. spotted something. Real close. I think they saw the brim of the cap there. Flash goes out. Traded, nice job as they play behind each other and over the shoulder. Oh, Shazam, Bunny tried going in. He gets 
pulled down by Shazam. Excellent shot. Sentinels have managed to take a control. You see Tens is getting onto the site. You've also got Sick, who's going to be falling shortly thereafter with the spike. Tens going for the jugular. Spotted Athena back there. Cleans him up. The spike goes down as it's just down to Zim. But he's got the Cosmic Divide and a Vandal. But that's, that's really it. I mean, if you think about it, when it comes down to fundamentals, how do you beat aggression? You just, you up them. You up them as they wide swing, as they fly out. And Shazam taking it back to those roots right now. And now we know why he sat in the spot where the gravity well kept coming in heaven, because he still figured he could hit that shot on Bunny. These guys are feeling it right now. Zunbo with a beautiful execution on Sick there as they're trying to hunt for blood and get this last Vandal out of his hands. But yeah, Spike's just going to tick away. And I mean, yeah, no, Shazam's going to pull off as well. All right, so weapon's going to be saved. Really, for, for four members, Shazam's going to bring that op in um, as well. And for Zumba, as you mentioned, carry that Vandal into the next round. Sentinel sitting, starting to be a, a pretty cozy lead. And I think this op shot again, you see Bunny, he had turned that corner. He was at the peak yeah. of his blast. Boom, boom, good night. Whoops. Kind of hit his. Hit his brim on the uh, the door jam there. It's unfortunate. Unf unfortunate. <laughs> Brutal headache off of that. It happens. It's better than anything we'll ever do. And moving towards A. So they drop the spike for now again. Sentinel's going to feel out this round, They're see fine. how F4Q wants to play it. So they just they move some money around. They've got a Guardian in the hands of Esperanza, and you've got Bunny once again it. with the Judge and the showstopper for Sentinel's heavy lean towards A. The spike is actually over towards B though, and you've got Sick who's making sure there's no aggression coming in from Garage. Let's see, so how do F4Q stop Sentinels? They haven't been biting too much on rotations. F4Q playing really well, and how many players need to be in a certain spot. They're still leaving Zumba over towards B if the uh, rotation happens, and they are correct to. It's going to be up to opening shots here. Whatever utility becomes used now, the positioning is great for both teams as they set up. It looks like it will finalize as an A execute. We just wow. had Sick pick up the spike. Wait, but the wall also went up on B mm -hmm. from Sick, right, to, like, draw rotates, right, to, to give and off the suggestion. Man, did they. Yep, and that exactly worked. Again, as you said, Riv, they're pulling back Sentinels are towards A. But there's a lot of KJ utility. Again, the nice thing is they have heaven control here. They've managed to get onto the site. Is that is the Kildra utility going to be enough, though? I like the last thought by Afina. He said, you know, it's too quiet. I'm getting out of sight right now. Very good choice to keep himself alive and allow further left. pressure on the retake. Dapper in a great position here, but it could be a one and done. How far can he go with this? Oh, he's about to have his hands full. The flash, the turn, and they don't swing! But Dapper's able to get one. Gets traded out. The res is going to come out as well. So numbers back in favor of F4Q as the spike continues to tick away. You've got Shazam holding down Heaven. He's got the op. The Empress comes online. As the lockdown's going to follow as well. And I, I don't know that they have really anything to clear that out. So they're going to have to give that space up. What do F4Q do with it? Shazam in a perfect spot. Hopefully he didn't miss the timing. He feels like oh, he did boy. it. Stays up. A great cosmic divide to stop the operator from coming in. Esperanza to start off the retake. Ten's dead. There's the show. Oh my gosh! He uh, touched him! Uh, they touched! They touched! They touched! But 5K and Feet are able to get the kills. It's now Shazam alone in a 1v4. He's got the up. The Cosmic Divide you talked about, how beautiful it was. I mean, just causes so many problems there for Sentinels. Uh, kind of got to see a replay on that because it, it, well, at some point you have to realize that's not the wall yet, right? It, still, I. Uh, in, in the moment, you're not going to think I'm running into a player. That's just absurd. But that's exactly what was happening. Wow. The things that are happening in this series, absolutely awesome to see. And that was the, the end. So the, the weapon would have come through the first time, but right behind her yeah. back. So Tickling the ear a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little willy there. All right, here we are, round 20, 11 to 8. Sentinels looking to push it to game point here. And look at how Afina have swapped. The, the, where his utility is, right? There was so much heavy presence towards B, or A, excuse me. Now he's setting up towards B. That's exactly where Sentinels are pushing into. The Leer's there. The wall goes up, but the Nano Swarm gonna buy time. Afina again trying to anchor onto the site. Tense has gotten in, but that's it. And that might be all that Sentinels need. Tense is able to take care of oh, Afina. Bunny. Bunny comes from up top and drops the hammer Bunny. on Tense. Bunny's able to get a second one with the Vandal as well. The presence that they had on B, the space that they were able to take away is all gone. One man retake. That is absurd. Bunny literally pulling out all the stops in situations where it, Sentinels took that site like first round F4Q, a first half. 
and it has been thwarted. Let's see how they retake on this. It's a bit of a reset as Shazam is looking for shots as he has backup from Zombs just underneath. Dapper's in a real cheeky spot here on the opposite side of the map. Yeah. And you can feel 5K sniffing it out. Great shots from Dapper to clean that up. So now you feel pressure everywhere, right? Like, there's pressure on both sides of the map. The neural theft is going to come out as well. You see the spike is already starting to rotate over, but Shazam's going to stay. Left. Grab that info. Now he's the one who's going to be the rat trying to lurk around. Dapper's going hunting. He's got two members of F4Q who are starting to pull over. He's going to drop back. They're still the yeah, last member on the site. It's great that Dapper even showed himself to the two rotating over, pausing their rotation, finds the shot in sight. He didn't even even want more than to just fire the Phantom at Bunny and Esperanza. They That was great on the retake. F4Q trying to come in strong. That is game point looking at uh, on the side of Sentinels. And well, our match point, I should say. Game point comes in the series. But what a round here. It did come down to Sentinels going back to a bit of slow play, finding a way through the defenses of their opposing team, and then hitting their mark as soon as they needed to execute. Cosmic Divide in tow for Sentinels here in the hands of Zoms. They've won in five of the last six rounds. They've gotten their footing here, as you mentioned, working the matter to map point. You see some heavy aggression coming out from F4Q towards A early on. Ten says, no, sir, not today. Zimba's out. I haven't really gotten too much action all over A ramp this, this map at all. This is the first time it will be picked up by Sentinels. As F4Q try to change up the strategy just a little bit. Got Punny. Punny oh. playing the tight angle. What a flick from Shazam, man! Tens maybe knowing that a few are in sight, but he just decides to back off for now. Realizing they've taken down two members of F4Q. You don't have to commit to anything at this point. And power and numbers become so much stronger. They're gonna throw at least three. You want to fight maybe it. four straight into that site if Shazam decides to come with him. Gravity Well, the Nano Swarm delays, right? Like the Gravity Well was there, it messed up Athena, but the Nano Swarm buys them time. Athena swings out, he's able to get one. Esperanza's oh, able to get two! Esperanza word. gets three! They stopped the push, the Cosmic Divide was there. First it was Athena, but then it was Esperanza. We talked about him needing to step up for a for Q, for them to have a chance, line him up and knock him down. That's all it took, left. but Shazam, the leader fight. for Sentinels, looking to make a play happen in a 1v2. He's got the spike. No util. Light armor. Quiet. Oh my god. Oh, round. He's good for it. On to one. Shazam. He's going to get the chance against 5k. He's got to get the spike down the tap. 10, 10 seconds, seconds left. left. 5k is going to give up 5K that space. Holding. Shazam's going on to put 5k. Stops oh. it. 5k with the patience, with the pressure. And he pulls out the headshot. In the mind of Shaz, there Shaz goes for the double plant, wanting 5k to push forward, but just ice in both of their veins, more so for 5k at the end. This Esperanza really turning the round around and allowing this situation to be possible where they put tents in such a tight spot. I'm sorry, Shazam in such a tight spot. How for Sentinels here. Oh, so they, they do still have excellent weaponry. Members of F4Q do as well. They've got the Judge. And you see Bunny. Tens pushing that back, though. Yep. That early, that early peak, right? Like, Tens are just going to be able to push their way in. The wall goes up as well. Nano, or excuse me, the Alarm Bot went off, but it got popped instantly. Shazam's able to take, over, uh, take care of Esperanza as well. They have Heaven Control. They're working their way into sight. They have Elbow, but Avina. Athena's in a brutal spot, but he can make some magic happen. Athena's already good for two, not able to get the third. Sick was there, and now 5K looking to see if he can test his medal on the same spot. Sick stuffs that. Zumba's alone, and he's on the opposite side of the map. The res is going to come out as well to add insult to injury as Sentinels with four strong get the spike down on A, and that's all it takes. A 13 to 9 win for Sentinels as they best F4Q in map one. I cannot wait to even just gotta get to map two already. I wish we could because what a fiery first map coming out. A lot of teams throughout the, the event already through Masters Berlin avoiding split. These two going toe to toe almost all the way through. But the few times they could, Sentinels grabbed another round on top of that surplus.
and that's gonna equal the win eventually. Shazam, 26 and 15, doing it all, calling the shots, making the shots, and brings out the operator to find Bunny in his sights whenever he can, because if they didn't stop Bunny, that game was gonna be F4Qs real quick. Yeah, again, I think they weathered the storm very well, and I think for Sentinels, they just made so many great adaptations on both sides of the proverbial ball, right? We talked about Shazam, Opping starting to push back some of that early aggression right. that you see out of Bunny. Tens had an excellent map as well, 22 and 16 on the Reyna, and maybe it wasn't as flashy and as pop-offy as we normally expect, but the guy just, the guy played super well across the board, and I think that's the other thing too about Sentinels, as we think about this team and how they're built, right? There's, there's always somebody who can pop off. There's yep. always somebody who's able to pick it up and make something happen that most wouldn't be able to do, right? And that's what makes this Sentinels team so damn scary. Yeah, if it's not Shaz, you have Sick, you have Tens. Zoms is always good for two in the size. Yeah, anytime I think of Zoms, I think of him ratting in the back of C yep. on Haven, just sitting there on his omen in the, in the early days, taking a few out. And F4Q did a great job of not allowing Sentinels to play that defense where they laid back, they retake. That was so powerful what they just showed us. But in a way as well, almost a little one-dimensional that it had to be Bunny. It had to be those plays that they got in on. And Sentinels started to identify that. Again, cheeky use of the utility there, just get a glimmer of hope and the frag out of the blade storm. And the rest is history. You see Shazam starting to hit those shots, just saying, pull taking out the clay pigeons. Just excellent, again, excellent adaptations from Sentinels. And really, it all goes back to Shazam, right? Sentinels don't have a coach. It's all Shazam who does all of the work. He's got 